Okay, so I wrote an article uh, called How to Choose the Right Perfume and tonight I am going to um, upload this article to a Hub Pages article to show you how to um, how to get your first article online. Okay. Um, now I called the article um, How to Choose the Right Perfume. You can see this is what I originally called it and then I did a search on words and realized if I used the word fragrance and if I used um, the word cologne then I got, we, we call it Google Juice. I get more Google Juice. Okay, It gets noticed by Google, it gets more um, money per click by Google and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a colon in here fragrances colon how to buy perfume or cologne because it doesn't kind of read so I wanted to call my article how to choose the right perfume and I've ended up I've called it fragrances how to buy perfume or cologne when you write a title you're looking for five keywords somehow five is better than four or six um, don't write don't write one word, two word titles because so in this title, fragrances is a keyword, how to is a keyword, buy is a keyword, perfume and cologne. I got five keywords in my title. So I wanted to call it how to choose the right perfume. That's three keywords. How to is a keyword because a lot of people search for how to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, so, so this is a pre-written pre article, it's 496 words, which is, is a good length, so I am going to upload this article, this is uh, Tina at Home, and you, you will need to open an account, so I'll show you how to upload the article and then I'll show you how to open an account with Hub Pages, but for right now, you click on Start a New Hub, and this is where your title goes. Now, when you write your title, it gives you a URL. Okay. Um, so, this is my title. It's really important. Do not put punctuation in your title when you first upload the article. Um, punctuation messes up search engines. If you have a word like don't, um, I wrote an article about a teenager's bedroom, there's a, an apostrophe, it messes up the searches. Write it without the apostrophe, let the article go live, then go back and edit it and put the apostrophe in. So I'm going to put a, um, a colon here, fragrances colon, how to buy perfume or cologne, but I'm not going to put it in now. Okay? Now, when you write your title in, if, if you can uh, look up, um, it, when you write your title in, um, if you just press space here, um, can you watch this box? If you press space here, it gives you the URL, okay? So it's hub pages slash, and then it puts all the words in. Now this is where um, you can change this URL if you want. So if I was writing about collapsible wheelbarrows, I would add the word folding here because the words in the title and the words in the URL are in the search engine and they carry more weight than the rest of the article. So you can add a few keywords in, in here. Okay? So, um, I, I mean, I, I did some research. I've come up with fragrances, perfume cook, perfume cologne and not folding. Can anyone think of any great keywords that I should add? Essence. Yes. Oh gosh, I never thought of that. Can you spell it for me? <laughs> Is that correct? Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, I, I'll tell you a trick too. Is um, people search and misspell things. Oh, they do. And I could write essence here <coughs> misspelled because if they search for it okay, so I could go okay if people search for essence actually scent is, would be a good one okay don't put too many in because it weakens it that's why we're aiming for five so right now I've got seven 
um, but I've got five in my title. Okay, now uh, we need a category and <laughs> Hub Pages suggests a category and right now it's suggesting fashion and beauty, perfume and fragrances, perfume and cologne sets. Sounds great, okay? So I'm going to put it in that category. Sometimes it puts it in a weird category, but that usually tells me if it if I write about one thing and it's in a very different, let's say I write about folding wheelbarrows and it suggests something for the disabled, you know, uh, it's picking up wheelchairs, it's not picking up wheelbarrows. It tells you that your, um, your title isn't strong enough. So I've, I, I, I'm, sometimes I write lousy titles, but this one I think is a good title because I did some research. Um, so I have a strong title and it's suggested you know, as the first suggestion, it suggested a, a good um, um, category. Okay, now you can choose different layouts. I just, I go with the first. And then you have to add some tags. So, um, shopping and women is a good one. 